What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Buying Websites on Flippa. And today I have a very special, I guess a world first for you guys. I don't know if anybody's ever done this before, but I'm going to go through the entire process of acquiring a application from the Flippa marketplace. Step-by-step -step instructions of how to go through and how to purchase one of the assets on the platform. Now I've mentioned in the past, I developed a course a while ago about how to buy and sell websites, how to negotiate and things like that. So the link to that will be in the description below. So you guys can go check that out. And also for the month of December, if you guys want 50% off, the coupon code cyber is in the description below. It'll get you 50% off all month. So coming to the end here of 2019, finishing off with a bang. And without further ado, I wanna go through the process to show you guys what exactly goes into acquiring an online business or an application. And what I've mentioned in the past that I was going to do was add to my portfolio. I promised that I was going to do that. Uh, and I definitely want to uphold that promise of adding applications, mobile apps in iOS, as well as Android, mainly focusing on iOS first, uh, just one at a time, learning the process in the public eye so you guys can see what it looks like. And this is the first example, Space Elite Defense, tower defense game. It's a lot of fun. I ran it by quite a few of my advisors and mentors and friends and family. Uh, and you know, by a few, I mean five or six. And they all said it was a fun game. So as long as you can get some verification that it's somewhat usable and people enjoy playing it, then it's something and it's generating revenue, then you can add it to your portfolio as an investment. And this one is a $500 game and I was dealing directly with the developer, it was part of a portfolio, and he wanted the entire portfolio, but I decided, all right, I just wanna go after one at a time, uh, which is what I recommend, always focus on one thing at a time, and make sure that you learn the ways. And I've never actually gotten into mobile apps before, so this is a first for me, and I have a developer ready to do the migration, move ad mob over as well as chart boost to different ways of monetizing mobile applications. So the first step is placing your bid and getting it accepted. So this one was $500. As you can see, it completed 10 minutes ago. I was messaging with uh, the owner on Flippa going back and forth. And for some reason, PayPal was uh, giving me the business. So we decided to go through Flippa escrow, which effectively allows the buyer and seller to converge on this page here in the sales completion area, both going through KYC, which stands for know your customer. And uh, both parties are submitting their identification and making sure that Flippa will be able to accept the payment from two participating parties and nobody is laundering any money or anything like that. It's everybody is in, uh, in compliance. So this first screen here, after you go through that uh, that initial screen, which is your application data, when it's going through all of the uh, initial steps there, you are going to have to show proof of identity, like I said, for Know Your Customer, KYC. And this is where you'll put your passport or your driver's license in. And you can upload the front and the back. And you can also use your phone to do this. So this is pretty much standard for, you know, if you're using anything that involves money transacting nowadays uh, it's a very tight regulatory body that keeps track of you know making sure that KYC is in place so it's very easy simple and they actually allow you to do it on a mobile device so I'm gonna go through this process and then show you guys after I've gone through this so after you've gone through the selfie where it zooms into your face and you have verified you've uploaded your documents uh, in the uh, previous portal of proof of identity and they do the face capture aka selfie on there you are basically sitting here for one to three minutes as they go through and review your uh, various pieces of applicant information. And this is going to be the same for the buyer as well as the seller. In this scenario, obviously I am the buyer buying the mobile application and the seller is going through this process simultaneously and Flippa is verifying both of them and I am going to transfer the money to Flippa escrow and once they have the money, and then the assets begin being transferred over to my developer and me. Once we confirm that everything is in place and we are comfortable uh, that everything has been transferred over correctly and uh, we're ready to move forward, we just click a button on the main screen of the applicant data screen and it will go through and process that payment for the seller and we can complete the entire transaction. 
Because escrow in a way is just a third third party person that just sits there and says, all right guys, we're both good, here's the money. And it allows both parties to feel a little bit more comfortable in the transaction taking place because there's somebody else as a mediator, somebody in the middle. All right, so about 12 hours has gone by and I have signed up for an Apple developer account. It costs $99 for a year, which is very inexpensive to purchase when you could tack on effectively as many apps as you want into this uh, dashboard here. And it's called appstoreconnect.apple.com. This lets you track analytics, downloads, reviews, everything that are going on. And you need the ID of uh, or your, de your developer ID. Ah. You need your developer ID to give to the seller. So what you gotta do is you gotta sign up before the actual sale takes place. I signed up. Uh, basically during the sale and a couple of days before I did the Google one, which is $25. And that is Google Play. You need to sign up for that if it's on Android as well as iOS. This one is on both Space Elite Defense, Alien Wars. And I signed up for both of these. So $99 for the Apple and $25 for the Google uh, developer accounts so that you can migrate over the applications. This does not require any technical expertise. All you need to do is provide them with the IDs and that will be sent over your way. Now, the most important part here is the advertisements. If you're buying this as an asset for an investment, uh, you need to probably have a developer on hand, which I do have one that will be implementing Chartboost as well as AdMob. Those are the two networks that I'm going to be using and the links to those will be in the description below. So this is the application here, Space Elite Defense, as I mentioned before, and let's check out the analytics real quick. Now, as you can see, the last seven days, it has gotten 2,386 impressions up 8%. It looks like nine installs, so about one to two installs per day. Let's check out the last 30 days here, and this is on the App Store Connect under App Analytics. As you can see here, uh, last 30 days is a little over 10,000 impressions and about 50 installs. Uh, so roughly one-ish to uh, downloads per day and it's $8 in sales. I believe this product has been around for three years. This application has been around for three years and it's done about like $150 in sales total. So the one thing that I was looking for was I was looking for something that had over 5,000 installs. So this product has 9,000 installs. And as you can see here, uh, the stickiness, 7.8 sessions per active device. So people are actually sticking around. They're actually playing this, uh, this device or this game. So that is a very, very telling point for me that I wanted in a first mobile application that I was gonna add to the portfolio. And obviously you want low amount of crashes here. You don't want these. That's not a uh, not a good idea. This is very helpful when you're purchasing an app, making sure that this is a lot of organic, which this is, and uh, it's just generating one to two organic downloads every day, which doesn't seem like a lot, but if you're buying a brand new game with no ranking and it's not showing up in searches, uh, that is not you know as as cost effective. If you're treating this like an investment, in my opinion, buying something that's already ranked, already generating. Uh, some revenue and it also has uh, in-app purchases as well as advertisements and it also um, has the ability for you to have both iOS and Android to attack both of those markets and really take on both of those at once. So these are the analytics, the raw deep dive into this. I wanted to be as transparent as I could with you guys to show you everything that's going on. You can see here we have finally had the application moved over to the Google Play console, which was $25 to set this up. You can see the last update was June 4th and 4.23 stars, active installs uh, in the past 30 days has been 25. So roughly uh, slightly less installs than the iOS version, but you can see some of these statistics once we click on this. As you can see, new users acquired in the past 30 days has been 15. Overall rating is five stars, crash is one. And you can see that it just goes through your basic information, very similar to the Apple Connect dashboard. And finally, we're gonna to go to revenue and financial reports. You can see here the different payout currencies for the lifetime. Looks like it's very low on the uh, total of USDs, $3.05. Let's go ahead and see what it paid out in euros. Looks like 
we're looking at $75. And these are the different items within the game that have been ordered, no refunds. And it's just, uh, looks like gold one has been the most ordered item out of all of them, which is interesting. So it looks like iOS is generating more revenue with this app. Escrow has gone through. I transferred the money there. Uh, that was $500. And then also uh, we went through the process of identification. We had to enter in our IDs, you know, for KYC, as I mentioned before. And once both buyer and seller had those, we were going back and forth about the Apple developer ID as well as the Google ID. So once we had those, the transfer could actually happen and take place. So far it has been a very smooth process and I'm pretty pleased with the analytics and the organic growth that the first app is seeing. All right, so there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The IDs have been verified from both the buyer and the seller. We use Flippa escrow because it is seamless and free to use and very secure, making sure that everybody's happy. You can see that uh, the seller is actually paying the uh, success fee. Uh, so that's taken out of the sale price. And then you can leave a feedback um, after seven days the listing has end ended. And you can pay via PayPal if you want, but obviously we went through Flippa escrow, so it was much easier. And you can dispute the sale if something were to happen. But ultimately, this is a example of the full run through of everything that's happened from KYC to doing the escrow to sending over the application via Apple Connect, as well as Google Play. And all you need to produce is the identification numbers of your Apple IDs that you've set up. Now, as I said, it's important to have a developer on hand to implement ads for whatever ad network you are using. I suggest AdMob and Chartboost, as I mentioned before, but those are going to be something that you're gonna need a developer to get into the code and actually implement uh, as you go. So you can do the actual transfer yourself, but you're gonna need a developer to dive into that. And there's plenty of ad networks out there, plenty of different applications and ways of integrating like apps flyer and Kochava and things that you can use to track uh, for attribution of what's working. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work on some of the advertising for this. I'm going to take, you know, videos of the gameplay, put it on a couple different ad networks, see what happens. But that is it. Start to finish of a sale on Flippa of an application. You guys have asked for it and you got it. <laughs> this was everything all encompassed into one video. And I hope you guys like it. If you did, slap a like. If you guys are brand new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you like the video, it really helps the channel. And also, like I said below, if you want to check out the course on how to do this, buying and selling and negotiating deal structures and all of that, click the link uh, to my course in the description below on buying and selling websites for passive income. And definitely use the coupon code CYBER for 50% off. And that is it for this episode. I will see you guys on the next one.